Hey guys, welcome to the channel and here's the verse of the day. So we're going to be looking at 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 8. So and above all things have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sins. So this is uh, Peter talking about the prophesied last days. So in the last days, Christians should live with an attitude of love. So above all things have fervent love for one another. If these are the last days, then it is important for us to love those we are going to spend eternity with. In light of eternity, we must have fervent love for each other. So you got to think these are people who you're going to be spending eternal life with. Might as well love them while we're here. So in the last days, just have love for everybody. You know, that's what Jesus wants us to do is love others more than we love ourselves um, especially if you're in a covenant marriage with somebody you're supposed to have that fervent love for them um, that strong you know love for another um, it's kind of hard to love another as much as yourself um, but I believe that's that's from Satan so we need to love others like ourselves so for love will cover a multitude of sins Love does cover a multitude of sins, both the sins of the one loving and the sins of one who is being loved. So, you know, there's a lot of things that people can forgive when they love one another. Um, you know, you got to think about just anything, you know, nasty talking or an argument. Maybe people got in a fight. Let's say two friends fought each other or two friends are fighting over the same girl or same guy or whatever. Um, I don't know, farting around your spouse or something, you know, different things like that. Um, love forgives. Love covers those sins. Love brings two people together and makes them stronger than if they didn't love each other. So, you know, whether it's a brotherly love, whether it's a romantic love, whether it's a parent-child love, a familial love, um, Love can cover any of that stuff. Let's say a kid breaks something or, you know, whatever. Parents love him. They can forgive that and they can cover, you know, get it covered. So, um, but without that, it just leaves more and more brokenness. Without love, there's more brokenness. So, where love abounds in a fellowship of Christians, many small offenses and even some large ones are readily overlooked and forgotten. But where love is lacking, every word is viewed with suspicion. Every action is liable to misunderstanding and conflicts abound to Satan's perverse delight. So you got to think about when people don't like somebody and they're listening to somebody give a speech, they kind of just sit in on every single word and try to find a slip up in there so then they can post about it on social media or write a headline about it or something but when someone is loved they don't do that they just praise everything they say so that's kind of what it's saying there so be hospitable to one another without grumbling so love will show itself in hospitality christians should often open their homes to others and doing it all without grumbling so without complaining without being like oh i don't want these people in my house or i don't want to do this i'm tired you have to do it openly and lovingly so without grumbling is a frank recognition that the practice of hospitality could become costly burdensome and irritating so you know it can become burdensome but you know if it's becoming burdensome then take a step back take a break from it and then come back when you're feeling a hundred percent don't try to push through it that's going to make it worse so as each one has received a gift minister it to one another love will show itself as we give to the church family what god has given us as gifts as we do so we are good stewards of the many faceted grace of god given to us so if we have a gift use it if that's playing music in a worship band if that's teaching, if that's being really good at video games, if that's being a really good athlete and having a platform to speak about Jesus, you know, use those skills to further um, the grace of God to others, to bless others with the grace of God. 
So if anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies. So every part is important. Each has its job to do. Even the smallest, seemingly least important part of the body of Christ is important. So every single part of the body of Christ, every single person within it is just important as one another. So everybody has their skill. Everybody has their talent. You just got to find it out. So, you know, thank you for watching, guys, and have a blessed day. Peace. Go and love.